What's good, YouTube? This is Big Game BG, and I'm here to make a sneaker statement. You suckers, Galaxy Phone Positive One. Move before flight. What's good, YouTube? I'm here. This was not a planned event. Um, here's my first pair of Asteroid Foam Posits. And today, um, on my sneaker group, one of the kids was letting his Asteroid Foam Posits go for $100. So I had to take advantage of the deal. So with the second pair, I am going to be trying the acetone and wiping the whole um, painted upper off completely the graphic pattern so what it should look like when I'm done is all a white base with a black Nike swoosh and still the colored base at the bottom hopefully looking something like the LeBron 4 Fruity Pebbles we'll see hopefully I don't mess this up I have no idea what I'm doing really so I'm gonna show you guys as I progress through it so when I pick these up I'm the type of person that can't wait till the morning to go and get a cheap um, acetone or something like that and do my research. I'm like, okay, where's the closest store with the acetone? I need to find one. Stopped in Walgreens, bought this one, 98% acetone. I'll put the brand in the description if it works really well. Um, pretty expensive. I think I bought an expensive brand, but that was all they had at Walgreens. Didn't have any of the 100% like I was looking for. 98% is going to have to do. What I've heard is you use multiple cotton balls, put the acetone on the cotton balls, and wipe away the pattern. Um, they say it takes about two to three hours. I'll let you know, um, and I'll show you a little bit as I work through it. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting to take some of the pattern away. Um, all I really did, first thing I did was take the laces out. I didn't know if that matters at all but I got 100 cotton balls, so I'm gonna use most of them because I don't use this for anything else. I put a little acetone on the cotton ball, not even enough to really see it, but I know it's there, and I just start wiping away here. So as you can see, I mean, it, it is pretty easy. I was kind of worrying that it would be kind of complex or difficult. Does seem like it's pretty easy, comes off pretty nicely. Um, I don't know after the whole process if it is tough to get it completely white or if there's you know still some residue or something. It'll just be a matter of time before I see that. But I mean I'm I'm pretty pretty satisfied that it's coming off so easily as you guys can see. Um, one thing I heard on one of my sneaker groups is that it took three to four hours and I could not really see that um, being the case for me. You know, maybe different acetones take different amount of time, but as you can see right there, that took uh, about 30 seconds and, you know, got a good section off. So I'm going to waste all hundred of these cotton balls and this acetone. I'm not going to bore you guys and let you guys sit here, but I will cut right now and I'll show you um, maybe halfway through or close to the finished product so you guys can kind of witness that as well. But just very surprised on how easy this is and it really seems like if you take the right measures, obviously never do this without adult supervision. Um, and also wear gloves. I don't know how serious it is, but I just, I, I had to follow the right safety precautions. Although I did, kind of mess up and um, when I was opening the acetone bottle I put my mouth on the seal and pulled up and there was acetone in my mouth so I just washed out my mouth I don't know if it's that serious but always take the correct precautions um, yeah and make sure your parents know before you start something like this and you know feel free to show them my video show them how easy it is and what you know what it really takes but from this point forward, um, before I finish the rest of this, I will add a little story in that um, I was at Walgreens, I couldn't find this, this acetone, and this beautiful girl comes up to me. I actually go to ask the Walgreens guy, 
um, a guy who works there, I go, do you know uh, where the acetone would be? And this beautiful girl goes, oh, I'll take them. That's so funny, acetone, blah, 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 and total dits, but she was beautiful. And um, guys, maybe that's a new pickup line to find the hottest girl in the store. Ask her where you can find acetone. Maybe you start talking. I didn't pursue it, but maybe that's your new pickup line for some of you young, young studs out there. But I'm gonna finish this up. I'll get to you guys in just a second. So far, it's coming along quite nicely. It's been about 20 minutes, and I've got, well, some of the original sticker off. I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, after round one, um, I haven't really touched up around the Nike swoosh and in really small areas. And there's still some schmutz, obviously, on the shoe. It is gonna take a couple rounds, I do believe, of the acetone, but for the most part, that first um, wash through, pretty successful. A couple things I'm worried about um, on the back of the shoe, I don't know if you could tell right where my fingers are, it looks like they're scuffed or something. Maybe I used too much acetone there. I might have to paint over that or do something. I don't know, that kind of worries me. But outside of that, I mean, everything else went smoothly. Those are the only two spots like that on the shoe, and I'm hoping not to do that next time. What's good, YouTube? This is night two. Um, in the first video, I said that I highly doubt that it could take three to four hours to do this. Um, like I've heard before, and now I agree, it probably does take close to three hours to do this. Um, this is my first, this was the right shoe that I started on. I took the laces out just in case I didn't know what could happen. The hardest part, honestly, in doing these acetones is staying patient, one. And two, the, the sticker, like, it's right near the the like the bottoms so it's it's really hard to get in that area and clean them off because I'm going for like a fruity pebble look like the LeBron fours so I can't have any of that previous pattern trimming so I've taken like a these are the three things I've used a toothbrush obviously you're not gonna brush your teeth with this after using acetone and really just scrubbing um, the real close areas um, down near the bottom and near the near buck new buck Obviously your um, cotton balls with acetone on the regular foam positive material. I try not to get too close to the new buck and different and the bottom just I don't really know what's gonna happen. And then hasn't been that effective, but I stay with some Swispers, the purple kind only. You already know how I do. But yeah, I stay with these. Um, like I said, hasn't been that effective. I probably wouldn't even do these next time if I do do another pair of them. But this is not an easy job. I mean, it is very tedious. I would not tell someone I would do a pair for them for like 20 bucks. I, it's just not worth it to me. I've spent probably an hour and a half. And yeah, I've gotten one shoe almost near completion. But I was so done with that shoe, I was like, okay, let's start on this one. This is how, after the first coat, it's just like, okay, then the second coat needs to remove all that. I still do have the pattern on the outside of this shoe. So I'm working away here. I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Um, yeah, I could see how it takes three hours. Patience, very tedious, and uh, just keep scrubbing away. Toothbrush has been very, very successful. Um, let me see if I can show you. Like on the toe box, if you could see how there's still that trim of yellow, not on the sole, but some of that sticker pattern that's gonna be hard to get with a cotton ball, that's when you need to take this uh, toothbrush and really work hard under. So hopefully I can remove it all and it'll look like these came white. That's my ultimate goal, is for people to think that they came stock white, that I didn't take a sticker off of these. So acetone, cotton balls, toothbrush. I wouldn't even say using these. these they don't really do anything to help the process, but if it works for you, it works for you. I guess everyone's different. Um, this is my second night. Hopefully, if when I film again and wrap this up, it will not be night three. You'll still see me in the Suns jersey, 
Maybe shout out to Melo and LeBron in the future. I hope not. I hope they both come to New York, but we'll see what it does. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Just want to show you guys that this is part of the process. Um, after one time run through, you will still see a bunch of this residue. So it is not, do not panic if you do see it. Another thing that's really cool, um, that thing that did scare me initially was it does look like there are scuffs on the material. You can see it. You can see it right here. It looks like they're scuffed. But the great thing is it wipes right off with acetone. Okay? And I'll show you the shoes when I'm done. I'm still working on it. All of this residue is just really bugging me. Um, but should be done shortly. Maybe another 20 minutes, which brings me to about a two hour completion time project. I'll keep you posted. So that was my video. Um, I'm not gonna call it an episode um, on the acetone foam posits. Just showing some of you youngsters how to do it. Please make sure you are careful and your parents know what you're doing, parent, guardian, whoever you're with. I think they're super hot. Like I mentioned before, or maybe I haven't mentioned yet this video, I do plan on acetoning the foam posits. And I'll put a little shout out here because I can't remember who it was. I know it was through Yo Auntie. Um, something sir, but I'll put a shout out. I'm gonna ask, or, uh, after acetoning these, I plan on plastic dipping these, which is like a rubber material, like paint. I'm looking to maybe do these black or red. Even though these look sick right now, I think I could even do them a little better because there are going to be some of these floating around and I do want to change it up. But the Asteroid Foam Posits Acetone looking pretty hot to me. I appreciate you guys watching. Big Game BG, episode 22 will be super hot. I'm telling you, I got a limited foam release. 1997 OG throwback. No one's seen these. They're like two videos on YouTube and they're average at best. You will love this next one coming out. Ask Tone Phone Posits. Any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm saying though, right? Niggas know about the Holla Fam, nigga. You feel me? I got a tight circle, nigga. My nigga L's, nigga. Doing it. My nigga EA, nigga. Some of y'all know him as Infant Pool Rider. Niggas know what it is. We out here doing it, nigga. HF. Nigga, we street niggas and niggas don't get it fucked up because we will get at you, nigga. I'm a street nigga first, rap nigga second. Before you make them songs, put that in perspective. I'ma get it in, nigga. I'ma get it in. I'ma get it in, nigga. Oh, I get it in. I'm a street nigga first, rap nigga second. Before you make them songs, put that in perspective. I'ma get it in, nigga. I'ma get it in. I'ma get it in, nigga. Oh, I get it in. Nigga, whatever you want to call me, John Love, let's do it. Look local rap, nigga. I know where your mama lives. Your mama John Love would be the first to bring the drama in. Drama in. Quit talking about your homeboy life. Don't let that be the reason that you lose your own life. All right, YouTube, that's all for the show. Big MVG, please come on. Make sure you want to, but not a John. I'll check you out next episode. So why the fuck you being lyrical? I'd rather take this bag of cushion, make a miracle. Hustle, hustle.